Welcome back to Wasteland 2. Let's explore the area where Ace died. See if we can find out exactly what happened to him. As you look around at the sandy soil, you see crusty red patches of blood. There's nothing to distinguish this stretch of desert scrub from any other stretch of desert scrub, except for the blood. Snagged on one of the lower branches of the bush is a bronze star with the words Desert Ranger on the outside ring. It's Ace's star. Angela should have this. Alright, two ways to go. Let's follow the blood. Man, I don't get shaken up easy, but this place is sending shivers up my spine. God damn it, Ace. Why wouldn't you let me come with you? Hello there. I happen to know you can talk your way through this one. The trail of Ace's blood leads to a chain link enclosure. Rising from within is a tall radio tower, its rusted struts moaning in the ever-present wasteland wind. If you want to play in our backyard, you gotta pay. Fifteen scrap? Or we'll break your faces, and my dog will eat your corpse. Let's send Theodore Flint to have some tea with his fellow, shall we? Hmm, very intimidating. You know, the Desert Rangers are looking for men like you. For a small fee, I can call in and introduce you, you and your boys, to General Vargas. Really? You'd do that? Man, this is great! It'll be so much easier to get people to pay our tolls once we have badges. Here, take the scrap. Let me mark my good thanks spot on your map. Uh, thanks. Bye! Goodbye, everyone! See? It pays to have a talker. Literally, because I think they actually paid me scrap, didn't they? Where is my actual money? Um. Oh, here it is. Damn, they actually paid me quite a bit. I think I had 50 before, didn't I? Cool. Patches of black liquid are all around under the tower, spattered among Ace's blood like some kind of black and red abstract painting. Let's use perception. Duct taped to one of the legs of the radio tower is a pre-apocalypse transistor radio. Looks like somebody had patched it into the tower and set it to receive a particular frequency, but the patch wires have been severed. Someone with the most rudimentary tech skills could probably replicate those wires and hear that frequency. Hmm. Well, would that be computer science? Oh yeah, apparently it is. Sweet. Get to it, Harper. Good job. A small speaker chirps out a series of spasmodic beeps amidst a sea of static. Hmm. It's Morse code. I wonder what it says. It probably says, this is Morse code, ha ha, I wasted your time translating it. Well, let me tell you, Matthias's law, friends. Matthias's law is vengeance. And soon, Matthias's law will stretch all the way to Arizona and kill those so-called upholders of justice, the Desert Rangers. I don't think I like Matthias's law. A torn page from a ranger logbook. Only a few words are legible. 
Ah, must be from Ace. Yeah, that's definitely Ace's handwriting. I'd recognize those chicken scratches anywhere. Alright, who got it? There it is. The page is smeared with oil and dirt, but some of it is still legible. August 10th. Fell in with a snake squeezins. Fell in with a snake squeezins seller from Rail Nomad. Wanted ranger protection on his way to... something. Nice of him to share his water, but I wish the boring son of a something would shut up. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I believe snake squeezins are some sort of, like, bootleg alcohol. That's a, that's a disgusting name, isn't it? Snake squeezins. Ugh. He didn't die quiet, at least. He went down fighting. Damn it, Ace. Yeah, this must have been where Ace and his mysterious assailant duked it out. Oil and blood. Hello. Should always examine these containers, by the way, because very, very often they are trapped. That's my perception skill, by the way. Just, I think, I don't think that actually helps me with this. I think it just highlights usable items. Or something. Anyway, let's examine it first. No, nope, doesn't say anything about a trap. Cool, shotgun ammo to the shotgunner. Sniper ammo to me. Assault rifle ammo to... Sure, don't know who to give it to. Not a big deal. Alright, now before I continue on down there, there is an area over here that actually has something I want in it. Alright, so this is... a fence... that does have an alarm on it. And if that alarm goes off, everybody's gonna want to kill me in there. So, I'm thinking, perhaps we should kill them first. I know, it doesn't seem like a very desert rangerly thing to do, but they are very bad people. I mean, shit, look at what they did. This man's gut met the pointy end of a raider's bowie knife. This woman couldn't pay the raider's toll in scrap, so she paid it in blood. Yeah, so, these are the raiders. So, when I visited here before, when I wasn't recording, I, yeah, they don't seem to attack me for some reason. But they are raiders. Still, though, you know what? Maybe I don't need to actually kill them. Let me try to just steal their stuff and see if they care. Maybe they won't care. Because there's a really good item here. Oh, that wasn't the item I was talking about, but... Maybe... Flashlight. Increases chance to hit. Hmm. And it looks like it's usable on pretty much everything. Except a shotgun. Alright, two weaponsmithing. Hold on, I don't believe I actually have two weaponsmithing on the characters that I made. No, I've only got one, but I think she has... Yeah, she does have two. Okay. So, um, who should I give it to? Maybe I should give it to my sniper. Yeah, I'm going to save it, actually. Because I want to give it to my sniper. However, I know from experience that there's a sniper rifle over here that's better than the one that Helen currently has. Alright. Carefully examining the fence, fence, Angela Death finds a lock and a trap. So this is a two-stage thing. Let's use Yulia to uh, use the demolition skill to get rid of traps. 92% chance of success. Come on, Yulia, don't blow it up. Don't blow it up! Okay. Now we need to unlock it, which Harper can do. Good job. Oh, 
normal crate. Ah, Harper Overton found a trap. Once again. Ooh, this one's a little bit harder. 77% chance. So the critical failure, I believe critical failure means you had set off the trap, so... Let's, um... Let's move everybody back, so if it blows up, only Yulia will get blown up. Come on, come on. Okay. Some ammo. Oh! Interesting, okay. See, this was, uh, last time I came here, this was a sniper rifle. I guess it's perhaps randomized? So that's a heavy weapon, isn't it? It's gotta be. A hundred damage. A hundred fucking damage. Oh my god. Okay, but even if I don't have the skill, I can use it, right? It's just probably gonna have a very shitty chance to hit. I guess. I don't know. Does it have ammo? <laughs> Yulia Vasiliev has received a mangler. Just what she wanted. I was on her wish list for Christmas, right? Or maybe her Amazon wish list? Jesus, look at that thing. But, uh, yeah, what about ammo? I mean, this is 7 out of 7. This doesn't say anything. Maybe it's just one shot? Disposable? Maybe. Uh, anyway, I'm absolutely going to save that. I don't need a freaking mangler for some raiders. Yeah, it looks like they really don't care. The raiders really don't care. I guess because I was friendly to the other guys. Hey, pants! Although it's gray and gives no armor, so I think it's just junk. Yeah, the graphics are surprisingly good. It really is quite a good looking game. Hold on, what's over here? What is that? I mean, I've been in this place before, I'm just trying to remember what's actually in here, because I think there's two caves, actually. Is this the one with a toad in it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Alright, this thing is a tough son of a bitch. It's got 60 hit points. I could use the mangler for this one, but that's still a bit overkill. Let's try to use our range to our advantage. So let's give, get everybody spread out. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, s people actually have a height advantage. So if you shoot somebody that is below you, you actually get bonuses to... Is it just chance to hit? It's probably just chance to hit. But yeah, I mean, look at this. That's 66% chance to hit. And then if I'm up here... 91. Alright, well, hold on, actually. If I'm not going to... If I didn't find a sniper rifle there, and that's what was holding me up from putting on the attachment... Let's just go ahead and put on the attachment. I don't actually know how this works. How do I... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is really detailed. I never really messed with this before. Look at all these attachments you can have, that is so freaking cool. Yeah, it's really important to have a character with weaponsmithing. From what I've heard. Because I guess you can make your weapons a hell of a lot better. You can even strip things for parts and hopefully find doodads that you can use on other weapons 
for the uh, junk weapons that you get. Um, right. How do I put on the underbarrel? Attach mod? Ah! There we go. So we can always just remove it at any point, right? Yeah. Cool. Plus 4% chance to hit. That is super cool. Oh yeah. Everybody's loaded. Let's get her in her spot. Yep, 95% chance to hit. Nice. And if I crouched... 100% chance to hit. Fucking sweet. Could even try to do a headshot. Which would be a pretty bad idea. It does... So, uh, headshots have a massive penalty to hit chance. Minus 40%. But they do do double damage. And they also cost more AP. Wait, I don't even think she can do this. She doesn't have enough AP, does she? No, she has 8. This takes 2 more AP, which is... 9. Yeah, can't even do that. Anyway. Alright, let's get everybody spread out. Shit, might as well get as many people up on this hill as possible, I suppose. Hide advantage. I can't really fit anybody else out there comfortably. Alright, got a nice firing line here. Let's open up. Here we go. Twenty-five damage, sweet. Shit, you know, I just realized something. Just like you can crouch before you start shooting. Could I have set them to ambush before I started shooting? I think I probably could have. Ooh. They're under pressure. Nearby enemies are interfering with aiming. Minus 45% hit chance. That's really bad. Alright, well, let's see how well she can do with her pistol. Yeah, and that is why I have a pistol. Sniper chance to hit, 7%. Pistol chance to hit, 78. Take that, you bastard. How'd you fucking miss? It's literally right in front of you. It's touching you. Jesus. Alright, uh, just stay put. Come and get a candy ass. Alright, uh, home <laughs> shooting, that would be a terrible idea until I move. Because I would just be shooting all my people in the head. It's alright, I can still shoot twice. Okay, that thing is almost dead, right? Eh, 24 health. Not exactly almost. Alright. Code of fire, you can see it. Looks like it's not going to hit the teammates. Blast in the ass, there we go. Holy shit, this thing takes 5 AP. Jesus! I didn't realize it took so much. Huh. That could be a problem. Uh, in that case, just... See, I believe there's an action point saving system where if you end your turn before you use all your points, some of them actually roll over into the next turn. But I'm not sure how many roll over, because I don't think it's all of them. So do I want to use my skill points to crouch, or do I want to just wait and perhaps next turn I'll have enough to shoot twice? I don't know. I'm just gonna end the turn. Ooh, do I risk the friendly fire? No. Oh, it's so close to dead. God, my chance to hit is shit this close, though. Punch it with your fists. That's a terrible idea. Don't punch it with your fists. Oh, damn it, it gets to attack. Oh, thank God it didn't attack Helen twice, because she would have died. Let's move a little bit further back. Get, yep, better chance to hit. And you are going down. Ah. Get everybody reloaded. All 
Alright, alright, good to go. Make sure our secondaries are loaded. Yep. Hmm, toad eye. Members only jacket. Member to what? What club? I should probably heal Helen. It's just... Hmm. See, everybody has pain relievers, which is something that you don't need a med skill to use. You can just take them. But I should probably use my pocket medic, I suppose. It's kind of a waste. She's only missing... She's only missing 16 condition. Yeah, just pop the pills. Pop your pills, too. Of course, after a job well done, have a smoke. Ah. Remember, kids, don't smoke. Oh, wait. Ah, you leveled up. Yep. All right, we have to uh, radio back to level up. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Over. Just checking in to let you know we're making progress and still on the trail. Over. Echo One, your recent progress merits a field promotion for one of your team. Thank you. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Level up. Yes, thank you. I know how to level up. Okay, three points, uh, three points to spend. What should I put it in? It's a good question. I'm a little bit scared about my lack of surgeon skills, so I think I'm going to put it in surgeon. The thing is, though, I do know that at some point in the future I'm going to find a character that does have a medic skill. I don't know if she has a surgeon skill, but I know she has a medic skill. So I'm not sure how much I should invest into being a medic. I don't know. I don't want to spread him too thin in too many different places, but he does, he does get more skill points than most other people. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, let's get a surgeon. There we go. Sort of appear to be a med kit thingy. And what do you know it is? Anti venom. Removes all venom effects. Let's give all that stuff to Theodore. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of text. At the end of the trail of black oil and gouged earth, you find a dead machine slumped against a metal chest. At least, you think it's a machine. It is certainly mechanical, a seven-foot-tall, man-shaped robot with metal and plastic legs, arms, torso, and head, all puckmarked with buckshot and covered in gashes that look like they were made by an axe. But there's something about the eyes of the thing that seems disturbingly human. Even dead and empty, they look like they might have once contained a soul. Near the mechanical man is a steel case, and several items scattered across the ground. Amidst junked gears and spare parts, there's a hand-drawn map and a torn notebook page fluttering in the breeze. You recognize the page. It is from the regulation logbook that every ranger is issued when he signs up. There's a repair units. Did I say repair units? Let's try that again. The repeater units. You open the steel case and find what General Vargas told you to look for. Two repeater units. And they seem to be in working order. Now all you have to do is get them to radio towers and hook them up. Alright, let's give them to Yulia because she has the highest strength. Yep, that's Ace's gear. Alright. What the hell is this metal asshole planning to do with it? We should poke around the cave, make sure we, he didn't drop nothing else. 
couple pages. Looks like the robot only got one page of Ace's logbook, and it don't say much. We should look around the area for more. You mean like the one that's two seconds from here? Oh, hello. I guess that was a map. Yep, the map is drawn on rough paper and spattered with oil, but the lines are so precise they look like they were done by a machine. The southern half of the state is soaked and torn, but the top is legible. In addition to Ranger Citadel, a location to the north, Rail Nomad Camp, is circled. Hmm, looks like they were done by a machine, so I guess they were done by... by him. Damn, look at that thing. Looks like Ace gave a... gave as good as he got. Guess that's some consolation. But where the fuck did it come from? Never seen a robot so advanced before. Not even Max was that tricked out. Chemical man is slumped against an oil spattered rock, its left leg severed at the hip, whereabouts unknown. Lodged inside the chest cavity, you also notice a cylindrical object giving off a faint blue glow. Might be a power source. It'll take some advanced knowledge of electrical engineering, but you could try to retrieve it. This is what killed him. This goddamn piece of. Yeah, this thing killed him. But why? And there's gotta be some connection between this and what we've been hearing over the radio signals, right? Because they said that what they'd heard over the radio is something about... Um, I think it was Vargas that actually said it at the beginning. Something about machines, right? So it seems a strange coincidence that Ace was killed by a machine, the most advanced one that anybody here has ever seen. Alright, let's see if Harper can do this with his computer science. Yes, okay. Come on, Harper, you got this, buddy. It's okay, it's okay. Everybody fails, try again, just don't blow it up. synth parts that I can sell, and some energy cells. Make sure there's nothing hidden back here. Nope. Ah, that's the leg. Yep. I kind of went an unconventional route. I think you're supposed to find the leg first. The leg is made of plastic and metal, scuffed and dented from hard use, and badly mangled at the severed knee joint. It looks like it was removed from the rest of the body by a shotgun blast. I think I'm supposed to go examine that, right? Uh, investigate it. Yep, General Vargas will want to know about this next time we talk. Hello? You're not trapped, are you? No? <laughs> Sap gloves. 20% chance to apply concussion. Yeah, nobody here's a brawler, so that's not gonna work. Yeah, I believe there's another cave this way. Ooh, pipe bomb. It's for Yulia. Hmm. 
Now, if I remember right, what's in here is something very, very strange. Yes. What's in here is a cat statue. And a toaster. No, I don't know either. This toaster is in need of repairs. And the only way to repair it, by the way, is with the rather strangely specific skill of toaster repair. Yeah, a very specialized and underappreciated skill in a world without toast, but sometimes surprisingly useful. Use it on any broken toasters you come across in your travels, you may never know what you might find inside. It's uh, one of the stranger skills. It's kind of like Animal Whisperer, where it's like, why would you even take that? Seems like a waste of stat points. I don't know what you actually get from them. I'm assuming it's something pretty good to make it kind of worth it, but... Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it untoasted. Ooh. The corpses of birds and mice in various stages of mutilation have been meticulously laid out. Limbs and half-torsos placed with ritual precision in a complex pattern, encircling this statue of a cat. So yeah, you can uh, apparently find shrines around that give you skill points. You've learned all you can from this statue. Oh, and Yulia has leveled up. Sweet. Echo One, go ahead. Got an update for me? Mm-hmm. Affirmative. Found the repeaters on the logbook. And a metal man. What? A metal man. A dead robot. Looks like it killed Ace and stole the repeaters and logbook. Well, I'll be goddamned. We haven't seen any synthetics around for almost 15 years. We better get a closer look at the tech. Mirror Captain might be able to tell us where it came from. See if you can grab a piece of it and bring it back to Mirror Captain the next time you're at the Citadel. That would be my pleasure. What is a synthetic? Well, I kind of already know the answer to that, but let's ask it anyway. That is Mer Captain's fancy word for smart robots. She calls them synthetic life forms or synths. Basically, any robot that can think for itself falls into the synth category. Plain old robots are dangerous enough. Ones that think for themselves are a nightmare. Received and understood, General. Good, but our priority is still those repeaters. Now that you have him, I'm sending you on to complete Ace's mission, which was to attach him to the most powerful towers in Arizona, so we can get a fix on that mystery signal. One tower is at High Pool, the other is at the Ag Center. Sending you the coordinates now. Alright, got a bunch of places to visit. Tell me about the Ag Center. Ag Center is due south of Ranger Citadel and very important to what we're trying to achieve. The researchers there are developing hardier plants and animals that will thrive in the harsh conditions of the waste. If it all pays off, we may see the day when nobody in Arizona goes hungry. Talk to Matt Forrestall about hooking up to their radio dish. Used to be one of us. Now he runs things down there. Matt's good people. Anything special about the dish? Used to be part of an old satellite relay system, from what Woodson tells me. Strongest transmitter in Arizona. And what about High Pool? High Pool is at the most southern and eastern corner of our jurisdiction. They're a vital part of the stable society we've been trying to build here in Arizona. They provide clean water to us and many other communities and farms, maintain an emergency reservoir in case of drought. See Mayor Vickstrom there about using their tower. He knows you're coming. What about the tower? They built their tower on top of an old crane. A bit unorthodox, but it gets great reception. Hmm. Copy. Roger, Echo One. Ranger Command out. Oh, hold on. I'm not quite done. You didn't give me my level up. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Echo One, I'm happy to say several members of your team have earned field promotion. Oh wait, there's more than one. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Oh, it's actually a bunch of us. Oh man, you get so much help for leveling up. These guys were at like what, 26, 28? Now they're at 35. Whew. 
That's going to make them a lot stronger. Alright, let's do some leveling up. Three skill points. Two from the level up, one from the cat statue. Uh, it might have been a bad idea for me to put points into blunt weapons, I don't know. But I'm certainly not putting anything more into it. Need four skill points to put one more in shotgun. Which I almost want to wait for. Hmm. Guess there's nothing else I really want to upgrade on her. Let's, um... Do I wait for a better shotgun? A better shotgun skill, or just put in demolition? Let's put in demolition. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, now you have two points. So additional skill ranks provide a bonus to amount healed. So I guess you only need one point to really just be able to use the stuff, but it just makes it better. Because Surgeon allows you to bring people back from critical condition, basically. Which is when they're not they're not actually dead, but they're kind of bleeding out and they can't do anything unless you use a surgeon, uh, use a surgeon's skill on them. So if you don't get them attention very quickly, they will completely die. Uh, I guess that's also very similar to XCOM, sort of. Sort of a system. I should probably just make them better at assault rifles, to be honest. He kind of blows. Yeah. Get better at shooting. Please. Thank you. Alright, I do want a better weaponsmith. The thing is, I know Angela does have weaponsmithing skill. But, um, here's the thing. I slightly spoiled myself when I was reading online. I was looking at character guides for how to make your characters. And I was talking about the fact that you can use Angela and her skills to kind of fill in gaps that you have in your, the rest of your characters, but I'll just put it this way, they they stressed very strongly that I shouldn't depend on her skills. I'll just leave it at that. Don't depend on her skills, so yeah. But, you know, for now I do have her, so. She's already pretty good at sniping, maybe she should just do perception. Let's do perception. And you, my friend, have a lot of skills. Let's do that, and... You know, I could even... I could do a fourth skill. Like, I could... I could start doing... Safe cracking, I suppose. I might be spreading myself too thin with that, though. Hmm. I mean, I can already use computer science and lockpicking to get into areas. That's pretty good. I don't know if I also need... Something else. Um, I'm just going to leave those two skill points unspent for now. I'm a little bit undecided. There's no reason I have to spend them now. Okay, I believe that is this entire area. And yes, it is. So let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Yeah, if there's one criticism I have of the UI, it'd be that this mini-map... Well, it's not a mini-map, I suppose, but this, uh, this map is... frankly, not very good. It's not much of a problem here, but... Um, later on, I think it'll become a problem. At least, I had a problem with it in the beta, and it doesn't look like they've actually changed it. But for uh, complex areas, it becomes rather hard to figure out what the hell is where. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So there's some good progress. Found out what happened to Ace, although we don't know exactly why it happened. Where that synthetic came from. But, uh, yeah, there's a hell of a lot to do. Look at the world map. There's the Rail Nomads Camp, which I could go check out. There's a mysterious shrine that I learned about from that raider dude. And there's the Ag Center, the High Pool Place, which 
I need to go there and put the repeaters on there. Also, I need to go back to the Ranger Citadel and go speak to Mercaptain. And show her the synthetic's leg. Which, I'm assuming that means I've now been given entrance into the Citadel? I'm not sure if I have. But, unless Mercaptain comes outside the Citadel, I'm going to have to go inside to talk to her. Which means I could potentially upgrade my stuff. Assuming I have the money, which I'm not sure if I do. But anyway, yeah, a lot to do. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.